Welcome to two old guys sitting in various locations talking about vintage films. What could be more exciting? Today, Art, we have an episode of the Bob Cummings show, which I think is not just a classic. I thought it was very funny. But for me, it is television history. I, mm. I loved, absolutely love this. I recommend it to everybody and anybody, no matter what the age. It's a terrific episode and and we'll see why in just a second but i thought maybe what we ought to do is uh tell people who bob cummings was um do you remember ever not seeing a bob cummings show it seems like he was on television in the 50s and the 60s yeah, he said to me the the, yeah and i know that uh, this particular series the uh, bob cummings show or i think it came back as love that bob and it was certainly in syndication it had yeah. about, I think, uh, 100, back in the day when they were doing like 30 episodes a year, it had about five seasons, 150, 170 episodes. And uh, it was popular and he was funny and he had lots of pretty girls on it and, and, and situation comedy that was, well, a little stretch from believable was always well done. <laughs> So Bob Cummings always played the same character. Yeah. It was always named Bob, whatever his last name was. And he was always a ladies' man. Yes. He always thought of himself as a ladies' man. And sometimes he had beautiful women around him. Always, in every show, there was always an excuse to have beautiful women. Right. But he didn't always get the girl, if you get my meaning. And and that was part of the comedy. But this episode, you just switched to the, the opening here. Yeah. This episode, I want you to take a look at this freeze frame, everybody. On the left is Dwayne Hickman. Does the name Dobie Gillis ring a bell? Dwayne Hickman plays a nephew in this particular uh, episode of Bob Cummings' show. Yeah, and he was, and on the and right, he was, he was a regular. On he, the right is Rosemary DeCamp, mm -hmm. who uh, appeared in just about every sitcom later. Wasn't a, a comedian actress. She was kind of a straight woman, but a very recognizable name. At any rate, Bob, in this episode, in this uh, series, Bob Cummings is a Hollywood photographer who also happens to be a reserve, what, colonel or something like that in, in the, the Air, Air Force. Force. Right. And so in this particular episode, the Air Force general comes in wants the photographer to take pictures of uh, some, of, or book some beautiful woman or something like that. And it, they throw the name Peter Lawford around. And it, it, you begin to wonder if Bob Cummings even knows Peter Lawford. But mostly Cummings is put out that he couldn't judge the beauty contest, that somebody would want a name like Peter Lawford. Right. And of course, at the end, Peter Lawford shows up. Yuck, yuck, yuck. But I got to tell you, the, for me, it was watching all these famous players. Um, just, you know, this is long before Dobie Gillis. And here he is. I just loved seeing him pre-Dobie Gillis. Um, do me a favor. Go to uh, 518, Art. I spotted that 518. And this is where the other great character actors come in. And look at look at the woman next to Bob Cummings. It's Schultze. Right. Ann Davis. Ann Davis. Yeah, Ann B. Davis. So not only do they this this particular episode is filled with great actors, great character actors, all of whom went on to do series. Here's Rose Marie. Yeah, let me freeze that for a Rose second. Marie. From Dick Van Dyke. Right. She was one of the writers. So here the we, have, we have Rosemary, Dick Van Dyke, Bob Cummings, who just lived forever as Bob Cummings. So I love that, Bob. And yeah. yeah. Then, and then you had Ann B. Davis, who went on to the Brady Bunch forever. I, I, don't you love it? I, this is like television history for me. Right. And of course, they're all, the reason they're all here is because they're all great actors, great comedic uh, performers, and they play off Bob Cummings who pretty much did the same character every time I ever saw him. Right. This is a guy named Sidney Miller. And Sidney Miller is, again, a, he's not famous like Anne Marie or uh, Ann B. Davis, but he was, he was a very, very popular uh, comedic actor. And here he comes in as kind of the crazy guy, and he's imitating famous people. Uh, 
but Sidney Miller's a great comic relief. And, and you can see he probably comes from vaudeville. But it, that's the quality of actors they hired for this show. Right. Um, and, and, and this was this is consistent, even though this is a great show that uh, Vintage Film Channel has up. Um, if you take a look at the uh, the history of Love That Bob and the Bob Cummings show, yes. it is chock full of these wonderful, wonderful lesser known names mostly. There, I mean, there are the Peter Lawfords and and those along the way, but there are these lesser known people who just were the fabric of television up yeah. through the sixties, seventies, and eighties. Uh, you wanted them on the show because they were they were funny in the the right kind of way, or they were the gangster. Or whatever it was you needed. Everyone is in this show at some time in this five year run. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got another uh, character to spot for you yeah. within the show. Go to 632, six minutes, 32 seconds into the show. Yeah. Um, by the way, folks, if, you're, if you like how we review these shows, please let us know. Subscribe to us and uh, give us a like, all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, because we just, enjoy doing this and going through the shows and showing you our favorite parts. Uh, did I say 632? You, you did. And that's where we are at the same spot. Okay. Give me another spot. Um, I had Nancy Culp down at 632. Fast forward till she comes in. Well, she's a ways down because he wants to show. No, she, I, she comes in early. Yeah. Yeah. There you, is that her? There you go. There she comes as a basic Nancy Culp. Yep. Now, now here here's Bob with the model. Go go to uh, nine twenty three. Yeah, you so always find something good at the nine minute mark, don't you? Yeah, you're like, you, you're like uh, nine twenty three is a favorite number of yours. <laughs> so here's Nancy Culp, and I want you to just freeze it for a second before she opens. Oh, well, there you go. Too late. Too late. The big reveal was there. By That's the way, the joke. Uh, yes. Bever Beverly Hills Billy. Be Beverly. We were talking about there. There's something. And this is all in one show. Yeah. These amazing characters. Yeah. And uh, of course, Nancy Cope goes on to become more famous right. because she became a regular on Beverly Hills Billy. Right. She was a, kind of a regular on this show too. And of course, she's playing the same uh, character. Trying to be sexy, skinny, uh, skinny Minnie, who's trying to be sexy and become uh, a, a photographer's model, and she comes on to Bob, which is kind of the reverse of the. Uh... <laughs> I have to tell you, all of these actors and actresses became famous because they were so good at the comedy. All they mm -hmm. needed was a couple of good writers, and yeah. these people could put it over. So, uh, go to the very end. And see if we can find Peter Lawford. He actually does show up in this episode. And by the way, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Art, um, Grace has two or three or maybe more episodes of the Bob Cummings show or Love That Bob up on Vintage Film Channel. Am I correct? Yeah, I believe she had four or five of them, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, even if, yeah. even if she doesn't have them on there, she's doing all sorts of wonderful things. Uh, right now, there uh, she's in the process of doing colorization, right, of, of a lot of these uh, things, and uh, some of the ones that we're going to be showing you in the coming weeks are just astounding at at how well she does it in her laboratory, and she's yeah. got an extensive laboratory and a background and knowledge in doing these things. But she's even ventured into doing things which heretofore could only be done with large teams with a lot of uh, expensive equipment and meticulous stop motion animation and things like that to get colors in. She's learning how to do a pretty good job all on her own as a one 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 person band. So oh yeah 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 I think you know technologically she has made uh, Vintage Film Channel really a showcase. Uh, she digitizes all these old films whether they're sixteen millimeter or thirty mil thirty five, and she digitizes the old videos. And they look, by uh, the way, in many cases, look better than anything you see on any other yep. channel that just takes the raw material and throws it up. Yep, yep. And mm -hmm. as you point out, she's also colorizing yep. uh, now, doing an excellent job, I think, of it. So here's the, here's the end of the show. Um, 
uh, what's his name here? Uh, Peter Lawford. Uh, Sydney, Sydney Miller no. on the left, Anne Marie on the right. Peter Lawford actually shows up for a cameo at the end of the show, and that's the big final laugh. Um, but what a wonderful episode. Uh, yeah. And what I was going to say is look for the Bob Cummings show with Peter Lawford. I, I think that's how it's titled right. on the Vintage Film Channel, because there might be two or three Bob Cummings shows. They're all good. They're all good. But this particular episode just knocked me out because of the cast. OK, so anyway, from the virtual balcony, if you like Vintage Film Channel, give Gracie a shout out by subscribing to her YouTube channel and uh, liking uh, the, the video that you see there, either the movie or the uh, TV program, because uh, that's the kind of thing that encourages her and us to keep doing this stuff. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.